Every time the Haitian majority has been allowed to go to the polls, it has voted for the same people with the same agenda. Each time that agenda was pursued, the government was overthrown by military force. The majority of his inspiration comes from listening to very, very poor parishioners, people living in slums, people who are child servants, women who have many children but don't have any stable employment. And, and that was the focus of his own ministry as a priest. When you look back at people who adopt ideas that are uh, unnerving to the powerful, the idea, for example, that the Haitian poor just want poverty with dignity and base a few basic rights, you know, clean water to go to school, etc. Those are profoundly disturbing ideas in some circles. And they're profoundly popular ideas among the poor themselves. When you say what's RIC's future, you're also saying what's Haiti's future. You know, it's not easy to, you know, erase people's memories. And the people who I'm around, you know, the patients, people in the hills, as you said, they're, you know, they're very attached to this guy and they're not going to forget about it.